I survived. How you doing, buddy? You okay? What's going on? Do you enjoy the show? What's happening, guys? Uh, Dustin, this was a big loss for you tonight. I know you had a lot going into it. How are you feeling physically, and where do you see yourself heading next? I'm a little bit upset right now. Uh, not going to lie about it. Disappointed in myself. Had a hell of a year. Um, hell of a pay-per-view with Cody. Come back and, you know, just a little disappointed in myself. I think they'll... I think it may be time for me to uh, maybe reach out and take a partner for a little while. Yes. And QT, yes, hold on just a minute. <laughs> QT Marshall has been there with the Nightmare family for quite some time. And I want to give him a chance. So you're going to be seeing a lot of us together. It's going to help my body tremendously. And uh, QT is the right man. He's tough. He's been in the business a long time and I think he deserves a shot. And of course, we have a secret weapon. That secret weapon is Brandy. And Brandy will also be there as our manager and help us on the path to uh, Tag Team Gold, hopefully. Nightmare fan. Nightmare family. Trying to call ourselves the Natural Nightmares, maybe. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Do you like it? Natural Nightmares. <laughs> AJ loves you're it. On, your finger is on the pulse of everything that is pop culture. So if you like it, uh, I'm supposed to be the one making the decision. I'll go with it. You like it? Uh-huh. Thumbs up. Natural Nightmares. Natural Nightmares. That's it. Boom. Brandy and Dustin, um, obviously, Cody had a rough, rough night as well with his match. Uh, what kind of words of comfort do you guys have for him for the evening and after his match? Well, for me, I've, I've already spoken to him. Obviously, I was there at the very end. Things were a little weird, in my opinion, at the end. Uh, I was confused with Arn. Um, but uh, I actually felt confidence again in Arn, and I feel enough confidence in Arn that I can kind of not be as present as I have been with Cody and be way more present with these guys. Not to say that you won't see me. I mean, we're the Nightmare family. We're, we're a group. That's right. Here's the deal. Everybody busted their ass tonight. It's a pay-per-view, so we go all out. You know what I'm saying? We put it all on the line. There's lots of injuries, lots of headaches after this, lots of sore bodies. I'm going to fill it for a week. Jake Hager was no joke. Okay? It, it was a... It was a war. It wasn't a five-star wrestling classic match. It was a fight. And I'm going to feel it tomorrow. And Cody, the same thing, man. He had a, a bone to pick with, with uh, MJF. And they, they went out there and tore the house down. You know, and, and all I do with Cody is that he's my brother. So I make sure he's okay when he comes back. I put my arms around him, give him a kiss, a hug. He did fine, you know, and just we're together. This is a family. I'm pretty pissed off about the MJF stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm pretty pissed off about it because I sat and waited since summer. I was the one person, and I'm always the one person. I'm, I'm also the one person that doesn't like the neck tattoo. I don't like it. Um, I, I've said it. There it is. But uh, I, I, sorry, I don't. I don't can like it. Can I get it. a tattoo that says Brandy right here? You can do whatever the, you can do whatever the hell you want. It's your body. QT it's the same has thing one I told that my says husband. Over here. But um. I feel like MJF, the, the comeuppance never, has never, where is it? When is it going to happen? Who, who is going to be the person? Because I'm so tired of him and his attitude and, and just, he's a huge dick. And I, I don't like that. I'm a Disney person. I like when the good person wins. How far back did you know that the next tattoo doing? is doing, doing much better now? You look great. Uh, thank you. Uh, how far back did you know the neck tattoo was coming and like... I knew. I, uh, again, I know a lot of wives like to, you know, be really hands-on. Um, my husband makes his own decisions. He's allowed to make his own decisions. So, if I decide to do something crazy, he can just let me make my own decisions. <laughs> Justin, two yes, or three years ago, could you have like envisioned opening a big high-level pay-per-view with a hot crowd like this? Yes, of course. <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. Man. I've been doing this for 32 years, span over five decades. 
I've been in some top matches in my lifetime and in this last five decades. And it's pretty amazing that I can still go out there at 50 years old today and put on a hell of a fight with somebody who has undefeated in MMA. And uh, hats off to everybody across the night for every single match that we went out there and, and just tore up the house, man. But I think this right here needs to be recognized because I am a gatekeeper for tag team wrestling. I've been through so many tag team wrestlers, like Barry, one of them is the Booker T's. And we, I have a history with tag team wrestlers, with my brother, and I can get the job done. And I want to give QT Marshall a chance. I think he's the man to do it because he knows the family better than anybody. And I trust him with my life. I trust him. Fun fact, I broke QT's nose a few months ago. Um, QT's my actual in-ring coach. So this is really a family. We're, we're an actual family. He's also at my house. He'll be at my house tomorrow. I already know that. And uh, he's at my house way too much. Nightmare and family's getting kind of big, though. We need to boot some. Yeah. Not you. Boot not you. Yeah, not me. I just but got here. You just, you well, I just got official today. You're in now. Yeah, I, I think I like you'll, you'll be here in. for for however long you want to because yeah. I broke your nose. Yeah, oh, that's good. Well, real, you guys uh, as a family changed my life. The right hook is so. not a joke. You know. It's not a joke. No, definitely not. <laughs> Justin. Yes, sir. Uh, why did you choose to have the new face paint? Okay, tonight. This was, he had pushed me a little far, Jake Hager, right? He pushed me a little far, and tonight the world saw the unnatural a little darker side of me because I meant business. And I wanted to take it to him the very best that I knew how, which was, I was throwing the rules out the, out the book, right? Throwing them out. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna fight him and do whatever it is to get that match, to, to, for me to win that match and to break his arm. That did not work out in my favor, but he's gonna remember it tomorrow, I promise you that. He's gonna be very sore when he wakes up in the morning. Uh, Brandy, uh, the Nightmare Collective seems to have come to an end here. What does that mean for the future of Chicago's own Mel and uh, also Luther? That's a great question for Mel and Luther. Okay. Where the hell are they? That's a wonderful question. I didn't know. <laughs> well, you saw Luther was doing his own thing. Uh, he's picked a huge bone with a very popular guy named Jimmy, Jimmy Havoc. Mm -hmm. uh, they are both um, known as deathmatch wrestlers. So I, for one, am excited to see what happens with that. Um, so there you have that. And then there's Mel. Shaved her head, got an attitude problem. We'll see what happens with her. Dustin, you talked about uh, the last five decades and everything like that. You've really gone through kind of a career resurgence in the last year in AEW. What would you like your legacy to be? I think my legacy is intact, man. Um, I have done just about everything that I can possibly do. And now I want to help AEW. I love it here. This is the greatest place I have ever been involved with, man. The kids here are so wonderful, man. Everybody's happy to come to work. It's not a prison. It feels good to come here to help and teach. They're a team, and we are treating this as a team. And with teamwork, that makes the dream work, right? If somebody falls, we help them up or I help them up for sure, because I love these kids. And I treat them, you know, they're, they're full grown men and women, but I treat them like my kids, because dad used to treat the NXT kids as his kids. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel that here since I am 50 years old. And I take them under 50. my wing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I take them under my wing and try to lead them down the path. I think, I think that's the most important thing for me to do, other than perform in the ring is to pass on my knowledge to them. They deserve it. It was given to me, so why can't I help them and give it back to them? That is my legacy. Last question, guys, please. I, I got one quick one before we get to the last one. Why is nobody asked how does QT throw that apple up and catch it? <laughs> because I've tried a, a hundred times the other day and I can't do it. I keep hitting my own elbow. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. I didn't oh, say man. throw your phone. That's okay. Did it break? Did it break? It's no, it's, it's, I didn't. Did it, steel. See, we gotta work on. Do you this. have an apple? Teamwork. I don't have an apple. I ate them while watching. Man, do you, you have an apple? You're not gonna have an apple phone now. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's for sure. So, are you guys ready for the natural nightmares? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You coming for Kenny and Paige? We're coming for everybody. 
Why not? We're coming for everybody and that's where it ends, right? So yeah, of course. We want tag team gold. I've had tag team gold. I've never had any gold, so I definitely <laughs> want some kind of gold. <laughs> I have trust you. You better have a gold watch one Yeah, it gold plated. Gold watch. <laughs> Anybody gets out of line on the outside too, we got. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not always effective. <laughs> but I do cause a lot of drama. She is a And you know, I will say weapon. sitting out there with Aaron and him telling me some some of the specifics, um, makes me a, a, a little bit more confident than I've been in that role. Uh, Arn knows what he's doing. I don't know how he got kicked in the face tonight. That was a, it was a different, different, different thing. But you know, usually Arn has it pretty locked up tight. So I've uh, sat and listened to him for a couple of weeks now and I'll continue to listen to him on the coaching end. Don't be surprised to see Arn out there with us sometimes. Hey. We gotta go for the gold. Arn Anderson was my teacher as well so he's been around and he knows his stuff he's best person for Cody who is your teacher me yeah Randy Rose uh right now it's it's the Cody and, and Dustin they teach me everything uh but before that it was a uh, over Ray Dudley <laughs> <laughs> Baba <laughs> yeah. yeah I like Devon better oh no <laughs> oh Tables. hey but now we're here in uh I'm just, I'm excited, you know. Yeah. Over, yeah, I mean, over 50 years of experience between the two of us, I think. <laughs> 50? I think, <laughs> between the two he's of been, us, yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah, say, how he's long been you been alive doing this? 50 years. 32 years. All right, almost 50 years. 17 and a half, I think. I think we got this. I think we could do all right, right for ourselves, you know. We watched right. last week on Dark. We did all right. We did. Yeah, all right. We got the first good. W. I'm we excited. We did get a W. Is this you your know? first W? Yeah. I think that was my first two. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, we did it together. That's all we that matters. The three yeah, of us. This is so. my first time. Uh, I think actually connecting with the spear and not hurting myself. There it is. I'm so glad you did that too. Yeah. Good, was old, about to good old librarians. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we done. Anybody got anything a, else? Just a shot uh, of you three together. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Brandy, you mentioned a bit about gold and you training. Are you going to take on Nyla soon? If she takes no. on Nyla, I will be there right in her corner I, and make sure she's ready. I have no interest in taking on Nyla. It would make zero sense giving the statistics. I would have to do a lot of matches and win a lot of matches to be able to take on Nyla. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so probably not. But maybe somebody else. Maybe he could coach me into getting into another singles of my I own. Could, and I would, yes. Uh, if, if I could ask one thing, you brought up your dad earlier, the Blood and Guts show is coming up. What does it mean to you to see a War Games-esque yeah. match, it sounds like, coming to AEW? It's a special. That's, the most, that's one of the most special matches that I was ever involved in. All those. Anytime I got a chance to go in those double cages, it was, it was uh, magical. It's a very impressive thing, you know, being with Sting Squadron against the Dangerous Alliance, which was my personal favorite. So, yeah, now we got something new, you know, and it's 2020. It's blood and guts. It's a new cage, new people, you know, new cast members, and here we go. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. Maybe I'll be in it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I hope so. Maybe Q2 will be in it. Oh, yeah. Put him in it. Maybe right? he <laughs> put me in it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Can I get a shot, you guys? Sure. Shot.